we're going to start talking about a class of compounds called amines. Now we've seen amines before, okay? This, this isn't a new topic, but we really haven't emphasized them, I think, as much as they are actually seen in organic chemistry. Uh, organic chemistry at the undergraduate level tends to be driven by oxygen and carbonyl chemistry, but nitrogen chemistry is really important. Now, as a review, we know there are different types of amines. There are uh, primary amines. There are secondary amines, where we have two R groups on the nitrogen. And then we have tertiary amines, where we have three groups on the nitrogen. And of course, all these are built off of the very simplest amine which is ammonia. So these are the three different types of amines. When we talk about amines, we, sometimes we get different reactivity and properties from the different types of amines. Now, of course, we're not completely new to amines. We've talked about amines, specifically aromatic amines, where we have the NH2 off a of benzene ring. These are our anilines. And of course, we can put other R groups on that nitrogen, but if, if one of the groups is aromatic, it's an aniline. So if we had something like this, we would default to the benzene ring and say, this is an aniline. It's not um, a different type of amine. And typically we're talking over here, more alkyl amines. But anilines themselves over here on the right certainly can be primary, secondary, and tertiary, but they're all classified as anilines. Um, <clears throat> what else do we need in this short video? Uh, amines are basic. Um, these alkyl amines over on the left, they tend to have um, a conjugate base. And let's just pick one. Um, and this would be true whether it's primary, secondary, or tertiary. All of these, when they're protonated, have a pKa of around 10. So the amine itself is weakly basic, uh, meaning its conjugate acid is, is weakly acidic. pKa of 10, that's pretty weak acid. Um, aromatic amines, on the other hand, because we're protonating this nitrogen, and let me go up to the top of the screen. We're protonating the lone pair on this nitrogen. This lone pair is in a p orbital because it's undergoing resonance with the benzene ring. That makes that um, lone pair less basic. And as a result, the conjugate acid, which is what we've shown, the conjugate acid, is more acidic. And this has a pKa of around 5. Lower number is a pKa. It corresponds to a, a little bit stronger acid. So this is just kind of the introduction to amines. As we talk about amines, we're going to need to learn how to make different amines. And we're going to focus on the alkyl amines over here. How do we put extra alkyl groups on this nitrogen and construct these amines for later use?